Hey guys, Shambly, today I want to do a quick reroll guide and also beginner tips for outer plane because the game is launching globally next Tuesday and I've been playing on the Southeast Asia server and hopefully with this video, you will have a better head start in outer plane. What is outer plane, Sean? In very, very short, it is like Summoner's War, but with this graphic. Also, it's very similar to Epic 7. So the biggest question for anyone starting this game is, what is the best starting three-star character? You want to re-roll for Valentine. She'll be in the normal recruit banner and you want to get her because she has amazing team buff, critical hit chance and crit damage buff. And after buffing, she'll get an extra turn, which means no cut in between and then do AOE damage and stopping enemy from moving by reducing their priority, which is like the turn gauge or attack bar. So she's an amazing starter. Look at her base speed, 138. A normal tank in this game, Veronica, has 99 base speed. So she has such insane base speed that allow her to be a great buffer, a great starter in a team and amazing damage altogether. But some people like to play a bit more defensively. So Veronica can be a very good starter option as well. She's like the opposite of Valentine. And then she has a taunt and skill one also dual attack with an ally if she has defense buff. So her kit already covered defense buff and she also can self cleanse and grant a barrier to an ally. So she's a great tank, gonna be amazing on some sort of revenge gear on your defense team or just a tank in general. But then what about the unlimited selective summon? This unit is incredible. She does amazing damage and then her damage can also scale with the target max health, which is amazing for bosses in general. A lot of people will be tempted to reroll for max well in the selective banner, but I really don't recommend him. His whole kit is AOE damage. Every skill he does is AOE damage, which is really good on paper until I realized that all the challenging content in the game require me to do great damage to bosses and I don't really need AOE damage for anything. But before that, I thought AOE damage could be great for clearing content. But then I realized that the game allow you to have clear ticket to clear the content without even playing it. So I just have to clear the content once and I don't need AOE damage for, for anything right now. But then I think Maxwell is going to be great for some sort of AOE cleave comp in PvP in the future. But for general progression, I think... Noah is going to be way better. A lot of people will be tempted to go for Eliza because they will read the kit and be like, oh my God, there's so much bleeding in this kit. But, but after watching so many resources about this game, I can see bleeding doing very little damage. So I think it's not really worth it. On the other hand, Noah damage is just try and true. Everyone who played this game recommend her. She's absolutely amazing for progression in general. So I would suggest if you are re-rolling for the perfect start, you get Valentine, you get Noah, and you will do all the damage you need for early game. But what about the two-star, Sean? What are the good two-star support? In terms of debuff, this will be the best two-star support. She has two great star in her design right there. So she provides speed debuff on the entire enemy team, also silence debuff on the entire enemy team, and attack break in her skill one. So she is a debuff powerhouse next up we have teal one of the best healer in the game we have the three star healer that can overheal you i don't care about that this unit is incredible because if they attack you with a debuff she will cleanse that debuff and heal the entire team so she can heal the team without even taking a turn that is incredible for defense and especially when the boss can outspeed you and stun your team. If she doesn't get stunned, she can cleanse the entire team from being stunned and heal the entire team. A PvP two-star support unit will be Cindy. So she is very good with Valentine because her skill to provide the ally with attack and accuracy. And look at her base speed, 136. She has amazing base speed in the buffer position. So she'll buff the attack of your team, Valentine will buff your critical hit chance and critical damage, and you will just cleave everything. Absolutely incredible unit for buffing the entire team. Other than that, I think the starter character are okay. They're probably not gonna be amazing, but if you don't have luck, then you'll probably use them for quite a while. I think one of the underrated unit will be Narukang. She'll be in your first speed gear farming team because she can do amazing damage. She has defense break and she just does amazing damage and you will need some sort of fire damage dealer. So I think she'll come in handy. But if you're looking for optimal two-star 
roster, then you want to go for Dolly, Tio, Cindy, and with the three star you get will be Noah, Valentine. You'll be good to go. Okay, don't worry about the rest of them. They're not exactly amazing. So those are the units that you want to look out for. So here are some general tips for you when you start the game. You will unlock the thing called base. And this thing is very important. Personally, when I go to the manage facility, I will upgrade the second option as soon as possible. So the second option will be upgrading your AFK farming, which is this one. So this will allow you to gather resources when you go to sleep, when you don't play the game, which is going to be like 18, 16 hours a day. And the most important thing that I get from this will be the gold chest and the clear ticket. So this will allow you to clear the content immediately without even playing instantly with no fail. So you just have to beat the content once and use clear ticket for all the clear after that, which is absolutely amazing. You definitely want to farm a little bit with stamina, but before you go to sleep, you want to clear another 10, 20 runs. All done immediately. Absolutely amazing item in the game. And gold chest is also very important because you run out of goals way too fast in this game. And one cool thing I find out about this game is in the side story, after you have summoned any three star character, you will unlock their side story to know more about them. But who give a shit about that? You will be able to farm the shards, the pieces, for them and that will allow you to upgrade the dupe system for your three star and make them stronger so you can just keep farming their pieces every single day with the pieces you can transcend them it's gonna take you a while it's gonna take you a lot of pieces but there is a free to play way to farm the three star pieces so it's not entirely locked behind summoning dupes with real money tip number three when you unlock the arena remember to do your arena daily because in the arena there's the most important item you have to buy every single week and that's going to be skill manual there are two main ways to buy this you need to buy this from the arena shop and you need to buy this from the guild shop and these will allow you to improve the skill level of your character and that is super important because without upgrading their skill level that they're, they're gonna be shit everything in this game will cost you so much gold so don't go around and transcend character just because you can, okay? Don't upgrade random ass gear that you can. Don't go around spending gold wherever you can because you will run out of gold very, very fast. You wanna use your gold wisely or else you'll be stuck with literally zero gold and that will slow down your progression by so, so much because every single thing that you do in this game will cost you some sort of gold. So don't go around spending gold like you have a lot of gold, okay? You are a broke bitch in this game. So spend your goal wisely. Don't spend your goal like you think you have a lot of goal. And that's it for now for me. I hope this is going to give you a great head start. If you have any more questions about how to play, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be streaming a game with the Game Global launch next week. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.